I mean, you know, I, as I said, I have my own doubts, my own thoughts, my own wonderings, my own ideas, and I don't know. I mean, and I don't think anybody really, really knows, except for Camilla, you know, because in the end, I mean, only the person whose body carries that child really knows when this happens, right? So, you know, at that time, I I think, I don't know, I wasn't there, but it seems that according to press reports, you know, back in the 70s, before he married Diana, which I think he married Diana in 1980, 1981, something like that. And this girl, I think, was born in 1978, something like that. So I think at this point, I would, I would, I would tend to believe that Camilla and Charles were were having a sexual affair, and so it would mean that Camilla was um, involved with two men, you know, at a minimum during the time that this young woman, Laura Parker Bowles, was conceived. This is just my, my, my thought. I mean, I don't know what the facts are. So only Camilla knows. I mean, not even Charles knows, really, because even if, you know, he was having a sexual relationship with Camilla around that time, because he was not in that marriage. I mean, Camilla was married to this guy. So, you know, he Charles would not have really had enough intimate details to know whether Camilla had had relations with her husband. I think he would assume that she, she did, and she was, because it's a marriage that could happen every night, really. And so... This guy, on the other hand, would have no reason to, to believe that his wife was seeing another man in an intimate way. And so he definitely would not have suspected anything if indeed something had occurred. But, I mean, she does not look like her father. She, she's the spitting image of her mother. And she's a beautiful version of her mother, I think. I think she's prettier than her mother. She's very, very pretty. And, um, you know, but could she be the love child of, 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 of Charles and Camilla? Um, you know, I mean, biologically, I would say yes, she could be. But I would say, you know, I don't know what the facts are and I'm not suggesting that that's factual. This is just me wondering aloud and be very clear about that. I'm not saying that Charles is her father, but I do wonder if Charles potentially could be her father because, you know, she, you know, interestingly enough, she was married on the same day that Charles and Camilla are getting crowned king and queen. She was married. Um, oh, wait, no, this is about trust funds. Yeah, so there's this other report that Charles created trust funds for both of Camilla's children, according to the Evening Standard back in 2012. He created these trust funds which were to pay for things like security and, you know, make them financially independent and sort of put them on par with um, William and Harry. It says here, uh, they, uh, he and she are primarily concerned, he and she being Camilla and Charles, with the welfare of William, Harry, Tom, and Laura. And so Prince Charles has created trust funds for Camilla's children and 
it says here, the Prince of Wales is in no way trying to replace the role of their father, Andrew, but he has a good relationship with Laura and Tom. Laura and Tom, and not Tom and Laura. So he is acutely aware that being part of the wider royal family, as they will now be, brings with it its own unique problem. So, um, look, what is the point of this? The point of this is, is that, um, Settlement Act of 1701, again, and my question is and remains, what was the broader, you see my computer's driving me a little bit crazy. It's driving me crazy, but I'm going to keep my cool because when it does this and it puts like stuff all over stuff, I get crazy and then I'm just like not going to allow it to do this anymore. So my question, because Camilla and Charles, Charles are getting um, crowned on May 6th and Laura was married on May 6th. So that's an important date for the two of them, May 6th. It's not just a coincidence. Everybody thought it was because it's Archie's birthday. No, it's the birthday of Laura Parker Bald, who is Camilla's daughter, and her father purportedly is Andrew Parker Bald, who is Camilla's first husband. But the question is, is he really, is Andrew Parker Bald really the father, the biological father of Laura Parker Bald? Clearly, he's her legal father, but is he the biological father? It's a question, as far as I'm concerned. And choosing this May 6th date to be coronated, the two of them, is very interesting because it was also the same date that Laura got, got married. And again, to go back to the 1701 Settlement Act, which they tweaked Charles and Camilla and I guess the rest of the of the wise guys in the palace um, during just before Queen Elizabeth died, you know, maybe a year or two, something like that, a couple of years before, they tweaked this very old law to say that female, um, female children of the sovereign can inherit the throne even if there's an a, a, a male in the in the in the family so before you had this pri paternal primogeniture where only the the sons um would be eligible to be the sovereign and if there were no sons then they would take the, the daughters by default but camilla and charles and the other wise guys at the palace changed convinced the the parliament to change the law to say that um, any child of the sovereign who was born after, I think, 2011 can be the sovereign. So, you know, a fool would be comforted by that. But a, a wise person would realize that just as easily as they made that tweak to say that a daughter could, be the, the sovereign, they can go back in and make another tweak and say a daughter period and take out that born after 2011 language. Um, look, the bottom line is the following. Is Laura Parker Balls the love child of Charles and Camilla? I have no way of answering that question, to be perfectly honest with you. Obviously, I mean, how the heck would I know? But I would say that if I were in William's place, I wouldn't just dismiss that as being ridiculous because, because I mean, this is a soap opera. And as I said before, Camilla is a very, very, very clever woman. She's clever. She's strategic. She's, somebody said she's calculating. You know, she plays to win. And she, you know, she's full of surprises. 
and I would not look look at look at what she's pulled off here I mean and she, this is what she wanted from the beginning I, I believe she this was the man she always wanted to marry but he rejected her for marriage initially before she married Tom Parker Bowles and before these two human beings came into being and so you know is she, is this one the love child at first I thought it was Andrew was the son but now I'm thinking more along the lines of Laura. I think it's Laura. It's my opinion, you know, and I'm sticking to it. So there you go.